So greetings to our uh, teachers, our mentors, and of course our panelists for today. So to give you a brief introduction, uh, it is all about the ra raising up and cultivating algae farms as an alternative source of fertilizer uh, that can be used as uh, an effective agent in developing a rich vegetation to increase the production of our agricultural sector. So. Uh, right now, so let us proceed to the introduction. So, with with the along with the growing human population is also the increase of the demand for resources like food and we rely on plants as a great source of food so the challenge is on making these plants grow efficiently so we have to think of better plant sustaining alternatives like cheaper and effective fertilizers replacing the synthetic ones now algae has a high concentration of micronutrients macronutrients growth regulators and other nutrients that directly help plant development and productivity if used as a fertilizer. Let's proceed to the back of the study. So the Philippines is an archipelago country with over 16,000 islands surrounded by vast bodies of water with advantage and disadvantage for life such as algae. Okay, like terrestrial plants is at the bottom of the sea. And because plants are limited in the ocean, algae are food for almost all marine life. Algae is beneficial to marine, marine life, yet it can also be dangerous due to its rapid reproduction. As a result, scientists have the method of cleaning them, cleaning them for food. However, the focus of this research will be on algae as fertilizer. Algae is a form of life, a wide range of nutrients that are beneficial for both plants and soil, and these nutrients can aid in the production of plants. So, for the conceptual framework in the IPO model, it shows the chronological order and how the researchers will come up with the output name as well, starting with the input, which shows the knowledge requirements as well as the materials needed in order to proceed in making the process and in, in making the input into an output. In order for the output to be used to create an alternative fertilizer and be compared with other types of organic ones to test its effectiveness. Let's proceed to the statement of the problem. To this study aims to answer the following question. The first one, what are the four fertilizers needed to know in developing nutrient-rich vegetation? Number one is spolilina algae fertilizer. This is the fertilizer that researchers produce. Next is animal manure. Third one is cabbage fertilizer. And the last one is powder fertilizer mix. The researcher also use this variable because they also need to see the grow of the plant with the help of other fertilizer. The second is what is the aesthetic of spolilina algae fertilizer in terms of her harvesting it. The first one we need to consider is the color. Next is texture. The researcher also need to see the texture of the algae if it's ready to be harvested. The third is thickness. The last one is overall appearance. Here, everything I mentioned earlier is necessary and the other as long overall appearance is needed. The third is, what is the evaluation of the spolinia algae in terms of this characteristic? The, uh, the first we need to know about the characteristic is functionality and it's divided into two. The first one is effectiveness. Um, need to know if spolinia algae fertilizer is an effective fertilizer. Next is usefulness. The researchers need to know also if the 
fertilizer useful or not. Next is quality and price. And the last one is marketability, as you mentioned earlier. Um, also needed um, to see if the fertilizer is marketable. After these COVID limitations, the focus of the study is to see if Smyrna algae may be utilized as an alternative fertilizer that is just a, as successful or more effective than other existing fertilizers such as animal manure, cabbage fertilizer, commercial fertilizer. Before and after applying the fertilizer, the overall appearance of the plant such as their color and height will be monitored. The limitations in the study includes the weather as it may have affected the plant's own growth. The Philippines has been hit hard by natural disaster in Southeast Asia, particularly typhoons, droughts, and floods. This natural disaster has negative environmental and economic consequences for the people who live in affected areas. Furthermore, the agriculture and natural resources sectors are extremely vulnerable to extreme weather events and their welcome consequences. This significant study of our research expected to screen algae fertilizer in crop productions and improving plant growth. Aside from that, we all know the pandemic has brought damage, especially it adds a clear problem in a hunger. And because of those Filipinos are affected, so we want to share and educate them that they can use their and use that where can they plant vegetables and plants with using spirina algae fertilizer for sustainability of our environment and to increase plant growth. It was also uh, help our farmers or our agriculture sectors, which is the source of food productions for any society. It is one of the main pillars of an economy and ability to sustain nations' populations. It is a vital to many people's livelihoods, but both commercially and locally. It will help farmers grow a large number of crops because they research to develop the most effective organi organic fertilizer that is also cost-effective. This study will also help the students. It will help them their plant related projects, activities, and educate them about and reaching environment explore real world problems, especially in agriculture, that will become them a community in, of, of environmental minded thinkers. Furthermore, it's also a motivation for every family, but a very special to anyone in the family who enjoys caring for maintaining plants, particularly plant enthusiasts. And this study will also can help the environmental sustainability, sustainability and economic growth for our country. Synthesis of literature and studies. After gathering information and examining the existing literature and studies related to our topic, Everyone finds out that using chemical fertilizer can cause harmful effects such as water well fertile, water wave pollution, chemical burn to crops, increased air pollution, acidification of soil, and mineral depletion of the soil. And we also find out that algae can be aided in agricultural production and be used as one of the alternative biofertilizer for improving soil quality and ensuring a good harvest and without harming the environment. So in addition to that, so these organisms have the ability to quickly develop or more typically multiply in order to increase agricultural productivity. So as we have uh, research, so algae benef benefits the biological population that keeps soil healthy and using algae as a long-term fertilizer could assist to mitigate climate change. And uh, using algae as an alternative uh, fertilizer will help the plants grow so in production and global food issues and could also be used for nutritional supplements meals and total carbon absorption for our research design the researchers have the general objectives of this study were to determine and compare the effectiveness of synthetic fertilizer and organic fertilizer from algae in crop production this study used quantitative research through experimental study where the researchers used scientific experiments to verify their hypothesis and arrive at reliable conclusions. It conducts an experiment to see whether the factors are effective as well as gathering data and information for analysis and the interpretation of the results. The sampling method that the researchers used in selecting the participants of the study is stratified sampling method. With a total of 550 students, the researchers selected 17 random students from each of the 14 sections in grade 11 STEM for a total of 238 respondents. The study seek to identify the cultivative and farm spolalina algae as an alternative and effective fertilizer in developing nutrient-rich vegetation. For the research instrument, the researchers used a questionnaire survey and put it into Google Forms to send the link to the chosen respondent. So for the product testing, so to product testing wherein uh, observation results are present 
from the application date to the target date of observation. So the researchers used common agricultural plants. First one is the Zea mais convar, which is the corn. And the next one is the Brasica rapa or the bok choy. Uh, wherein both, both uh, plants were placed in three different types of soil. So observed in two weeks span with uh, different amounts of applied fertilizer. So on our first chart, so there is a huge difference between algro and fertilizer among the rest. And same thing with the bok choy. So algro maintains its place above all fertilizer. So let's proceed to chapter four, data analysis. So the demographic profile of respondent in terms of gender, the frequency of male respondent is 101 and is equal to the percentage of 42%. And for the frequency of the female respondent is 137, it's equal to the percentage of 58%. So 101 plus 137 is equal to the total of 238 respondent and 42% plus 58% is equal to 100%. Next is demographic profile of respondent in terms of section. The frequency of all 14 sections are 17 each and is equal to the percentage of 7.14%. So 17 respondent from each section times 14 sections are equal to 238 respondent and 7.14 times 4 is equal to 100%. Together a mean score, the researcher selected 17 random students from each of the 14 sections in grade 11 STEM. And in sections who answered or responded in a specific legend, which is the strongly agree, agree neutral, disagree, strongly disagree, the researcher added all their answers in a certain any specific question and divided into 238 number of students or total respondents out of 150 population sites obtained from Slovin. After the researcher multiplied by 100, so the, that's how the researcher got the mean score. So, as uh, first question as the 238 selected respondents. 44.12% strongly agree that the plant fertilizers should um, should be used, while 6.30% strongly disagree. So as in question number two, um, the majority of the respondents also strongly agree that the use of fertilizer is still, a, um, is still effective today, while 5.46% uh, um, strongly disagree. While in the question number three, 38.24% 38 strongly agree that the algae fertilizer, um, the fertilizer that algae fertilizer will assist farmers in developing nutrients, vegetation, and 4.32% strongly disagree. Question number four, the majority voted for agree that plants that utilize algae as fertilizer grew larger than those that did not with 32.35%, while the minority voted for strongly disagree with 3.78%. Next slide, please. As for question number five, the majority voted for agree that algae can aid in the growth of plants with 34.35%, while the minority voted for strongly disagree with 4.20%. As for the question number six, the majority voted for strongly agree that algae can be used as an alternative fertilizer with 35.71%, while the minority voted for strongly disagree with 1.68%. So for the conclusion, based on the findings resulted of the data and analysis, the researchers found out that the spirulina algae fertilizer is easy to cultivate and is much more effective than the other types of organic fertilizers tested throughout the experiment, which means that it is a better option in aiding plant growth. So, for, so therefore, the researchers conclude that algae is perlina fertilizer or algro can be an alternative fertilizer in cultivating a nutrient-rich vegetation to assist our farmers. And to further improve the study for the recommendation, the researchers would like to recommend other students, individuals, researchers, groups, or institutions to look for other types of fertilizer to compare with algae spirulina to further verify its effectiveness and to look for other ways in the reproduction and speed up the process of drying the algae for a larger output and to 
look for other types of algae or other living organisms to cultivate and create as an organic fertilizer. We also we would we also like to recommend to look for a cheaper materials or old and recyclable materials so that we could lessen our expenses for the process. So that's all. Thank you for listening. We hope that you understand our presentation for today.